guys. We're out here doing a boroscope on an engine. Try to make sure it's safe, safety first. Wow. Follow us today and tomorrow and the next day for three days of fishing and three days of aviation inspections or three days of aviation inspections and three days of fishing. So we're inside an engine right now and this is called the cookie cutter and this engine doing what they call a boroscope inspection meaning that we're going to be looking at the parts of the engine inside from the outside using a very high uh, sophisticated and expensive equipment. Yes, because safety is number one. All right, so join us. This is going to be a lot of fun. You'll see what I see. When you see the sea, I see. We have this light right here. We have an instrument. It's called a boroscope. And we stick it up inside the engine and we check with this monitor here. See? That's just a recording right now of what we've seen already. Those are the turbine blades, high pressure turbine blades on the engine. So we're inspecting from the outside of the engine what looks like inside. Yeah, like uh, for you guys that are in the medical field, this would be an endoscope. Yeah, check inside your body from outside with the camera and all this stuff. Anyways, this is one of the jobs that we're doing um, today. You see you guys later, we're, we're, we're lounging. We're busy guys, see you guys in a little bit. Don't have to be by the mouth, Come, Mike, just see him in the camera. Doesn't have to be by the mouth, buddy. Get that sucker right by the tail. Why do I get the better species, huh? Right by the tail, look at that. What you got, Mike? A, what the hell? I you got the, a black fin tuna? Yeah, and I got a bow eater. Look at that. Nice. Good job. We're out. Yeah, we're out. Yeah, we're out. We're out. It's 3 30 in the morning. As you can tell, uh, I don't know if you can see the starters or not, but anyways, we're out here. Working it on top of the crown of this airplane on top. Doing inspection. We get fishing out there in a couple hours, be out fishing, getting some fish on for you. There's another airplane taking off right here, which is. I haven't even figured out the theme of tomorrow fishing trip is. You'll know when we're up in a couple hours. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours with fish on. Wow. What's going on guys? It's not even sunrise guys. And we're already hooked up. We're already hooked up. I believe this is gonna be a big, big bonito or big black fin tuna. Uh, now that I got your attention guys, the theme of today is Exceed your expectations. Oh, 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 there it is, Mike. We got caught. We got caught, Mike. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, buddy. Easy, easy. Come on, man. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Look at that, guys. Whoa. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you made of. Whoa. Come on. Come on. Look at that, guys. Not even sunrise yet. What do you have to say for yourself? She said we exceeding her expectations because she didn't expect anything like this. She wanted to just relax and be okay. I'm out. Here. All right, get it like that. Oh my. About that. All right. All right, guys. Blood everywhere. Playing with a donut, I mean with a aircraft tire. This happens to belong to 
a 747 jumbo jet dash eight. The tire, as you can see, is about five feet tall and two feet wide, and it weighs approximately over 500 pounds. Look at these other tires that we got here. Same thing. These are spare tires. Check it out. What's up guys? We're out right here doing it. Got the mic. Just a sec, just a sec. We gotta talk in the camera. We're out here doing a border scope inspection on this engine. AOG aircraft on ground because it had a bird threat. So we have to check the internal parts of the engine to make sure there's no damage and the airplane can fly. The cargo airplane, especially and everything, we gotta get this airplane up, but it's gotta be safe. Safety number one. We just have to say, Mike. Besides, after we're done here, we're gonna go fishing. I hear that the, uh, well, what do you mean I hear? We're the ones making the reports because we're the ones going fishing all the time. So I hear we got to go out and find out a report for you guys. Come out. Thank you. So this monitor, this is a video recording already of what we uh, inspected. This monitor, right, we can see from the inside, this is the camera right here in my hand. You see? the camera for a little light See? oh now if we go live you can see me with the camera oh come on so yeah this is what we're doing today with safety is what might Safety is number one. Okay, we're out. See you guys. Fish on. destructive inspection on the aft pressure bulkhead of this airplane right here sitting behind me all the way in the aft part of the tail of the airplane this is where the airplane uh, holds its pressurization most aft pressure bulkhead anyways check this out we're calibrating the machine with a standard detecting a crack here so that when if we do find a crack in the, in the airplane we know there's a crack. You'll see. What's this? So we got this machine called the uh, Eddy Current 
equipment here and it's attached to this wire and this wire is attached to this probe and then we got this little standard which is a block of aluminum and it's got these little numbers on them see and it's got small little cracks on there so that we can calibrate this machine see watch this anything vertical like that is considered a crack is this small one, bigger one, and a real big crack right here. See? That's it. That's it. See? That's all we need to know. We get a vertical line. So, let's check it out. There's a lot of rivets. Okay. Let's go up there and check it out. It's a little, a little dirty. As you can see, you've already seen what we calibrate equipment. So we're gonna be today just concentrating on this little roll right here. Okay. So we're gonna be doing these figure eights. And at the same time, remember the vertical lines? There is no vertical lines. Ooh, it's so we just gotta do all of these fasteners all the way around, but I'm not gonna bore you with the details on that. I'm just gonna give you an idea of what we're doing out here, making sure there is no surface cracks because safety is number one. So talk to you guys later. Guys, I already hooked up and it's only sunrise. Show them right there, Mike. Hooked up to a nice mahi. And I got your attention, guys. The theme of today is. Oh, look, at that. look at that mahi, guys. Sunrise, mahi, mahi. The theme of today is. We're not going to use the gap. No, that's not the theme. The theme of today is sequence of. Some events. This is a feisty one. Here we go. Oh! Gonna break the rug. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Beautiful, beautiful airplane. Check out these winglets, guys. Check out these winglets. They're amazing. All for aerodynamics and for fuel efficiency. So these engines, they have like this shark bite on these reversers. That's pretty neat right there. That could be my thumbnail. Yeah, pretty cool. Their fan blades are made out of composite, composite, leading edge titanium steel. How you doing? Leading edge titanium steel. Amazing blades. Look at the angle on that. So these guys are in the process 
of changing this engine. And this engine is turning by the windmilling. That's how fine-tuned and close tolerances these engines are. That the actual fan, uh, the, the wind is actually turning it. Exactly. So they're in the process of changing the engine now and sending it to the shop. And this is their replacement engine right here. See? And this is the uh, unserviceable engine that they're taking to the shop. Yeah, pretty cool. So this fan case as well is made out of carbon fiber. Yeah, for the weight and efficiency. Same thing on the other side. Yes, sir. Oh, hello. So as you can see, they replaced the engine with that brand new engine. They replaced it. And after this, we're gonna do a, a test. We're gonna test the engine full power. Yeah. There you go. scenario welcome back to the slippery beast aviation fishing show today's theme is yolo so we got we've been out sword fishing the whole day and now we got these two nice mahis My, michael's got one and i think i got the bigger one maybe not i think he's got the bigger one so this is cool. Here we go. You got the bigger one, man. Let me see. Both, well, they're both gaffers. All right, see guys. See what you got. Yeah, yours is bigger than mine. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Look at that size of the mahi right there. Ooh. This one right here too. Boom. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna bring her up a little bit. Get in some situations. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. He gonna jump too? Whoa. This ain't easy, guys. Over here, around here, I gaff Michael's fish, he'll gaff my fish. Let's go, Mike. Or you want? Or you want? All right, Mike, let's go. Watch this, you see? Now Michael's gonna gaff my fish. My fish. He's not having it, Mike. Watch this, guys. Easy, easy. All right, here we go. What's up, Mike's? What's up? That's, not, that's it. All right. Look at the size of this nice mahi, guys. Oh, look at that. All day long, we've been waiting for the swordfish. And now we got two nice sized mahis. Boom. Look at that. Mahi, mahi. All right, let's go back. They like the natural bait. Oh, there you go. Let me see my. Very nice. Very nice. Unit is set. Calib calibrate okay.
Michael there for a second because he's concentrated. But we're doing an ultrasonic inspection on these fan blades as you can see. And we use this gel because ultrasonic is not air is not uh conductive, so we have to use a little gel. And I'm over here with my bluefin tuna. Cause you see, you don't know if we're coming or if we're going. Fishing, come on. So, as you've seen the inspection already, everything is good, airplane's gonna be safe. So we're gonna be going fishing sooner than what we thought. Than what we thought. So we'll see you guys out there, fish on. We out. We out. Sunrise behind Michael, that's why he looks so dark. And it's not because he's got a suntan either, but look at that nice mahi mahi. Right? the colors on that get a little shorter Mike bring her a little shorter okay, boom right here yeah nice coffin oh you got built in coolers on this boat oh yeah no wonder we got so much space Going on guys yeah for those of you that are old school you know what it's called burning the midnight oil still out here all day every day is that an airplane taking off oh yeah he just landed anyways still out here at the airport long day trying to put some contents on this videos for you guys over here this airplane just landed I show you FedEx, uh, I believe I'm the 11. Yeah. Man, they can make some noise, huh? There's another airplane taking off behind. Anyways, back to uh, back to the inspection. The inspection here at the structure of this reverser and the other one over here as well. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. And this is a uh, GE NX next generation. Yeah, that's my equipment. Beautiful, beautiful engine. Yeah, so. Safety first, guys. Safety first. A couple of more hours, then I can get home to my family and get some rest finally. It's all right. Some people say that's why we get paid the big bucks, but that's not the case here. Safety first, then getting the big bucks is second. Wow. Watch this video to the end. There's an end screen, and I'm gonna recommend you personally what video you should watch next which is probably going to be this video full video and then of course there's going to be some fishing right after this yeah all right sacrifice for paradise and oh. guys look at the 
size is a big black back one. Black fin tuna. The big black fin tuna. Oh, oh, YouTube is not gonna like that blood. They're gonna be hating. Alright. She's gonna try to give me a kiss. Okay guys. It's a masterpiece. Right here. So I'm taking this video before it gets crazy because my wife and her two sisters are coming over to enjoy some sashimi and some mahi today. So it's going to get crazy. So I have to show you this before it gets crazy.